Hey, I just thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to build a crystal chamber. This is just one way of doing a crystal chamber. I had a few guys on the forum ask me, hey, what are you using to hold your crystal in place on your crystal chamber? Anyway, this is just one way. This, as you can see here, is a coaxial cable end. This is the threaded variety. So what I do is this top section here that spins, um, I actually take some mini bolt cutters and I snap that sucker completely off. Uh, once you've snapped it, you may need to get some needle nose pliers and kind of pry it off. But when you're all finished, this is what you, it should look like. So it's got this inner sleeve here. And what I do is that fits inside my chassis disc. This is a number two chassis disc um, from TCSS. This will slide through your body and extension parts. And this sleeve fits perfectly inside this little hole. And on the other side, you will hold your five millimeter um, lead. And then what you can do is you can use some hot glue just to hold it in place while you're assembling so it's easier for you. You really don't need the hot glue um, as a finished product because once it's together, your threaded rods and nuts hold that securely. And with, with your crystal in there, it's not going anywhere. But uh, just, just while you're building, it's, it's nice to put some hot glue just to make it easier for yourself. On this end where your lead fits, this is a RGB um, five millimeter lead. It, it is a hint tight. And so what you can do is you get this little strong stone Dremel piece and you can kind of round this section out, kind of carve it out just a little bit, just so uh, the five millimeter slides in there just a little bit more snug. And so, you know, and so this will go on the one side now on the other side, what you're going to do is you're going to take another coaxial cable and you're going to cut this sleeve off. And what you're going to end up with is something like this. So with this part, um, this side's your machine side. You don't want to mess with that. But the other side that you've cut the sleeve off, this is where you're going to want your other crystal to fit through. And what you're going to want to do is, once you do that, you're going to want to probably sand this off so it's not so rough. Because um, your, you know, your cutoff wheel on your Dremel will make that a little bit rough. And so you can finish that off nice. But this uh, other stone bit that you used on the other end, you can carve this out, carve the threads out a little bit and round it out a little bit nicer just so your crystal will fit in. This is a uh, about a quarter inch crystal. They fit quite nice. You don't want very large crystals. But the quarter inch ones, I don't know if they're exactly quarter inch, but I, I just buy a big bag. It comes in multiple sizes and varieties. And it, they're not too expensive, quartz crystals. And, and you know, that fits in there quite good. And so that's the one side. And then this other side, um, the machined edge here that's threaded, what I do is this will, this will fit on this side of the chassis disc on the other end. And then what I use is this is a 5 16 inch bolt. And it's a half inch. It's, it's still a hint long. Um, so what I do is I... I cut it and this is about an eighth inch, an inch shorter. And this will thread up, well, stick this. This will fit inside the chassis. Sometimes they're a little tight and you have to thread them on, but this one fits perfectly. So that slides right through that hole and then this just threads on nicely. And so there is, uh, you know, your other side of your crystal chamber. And so, uh, where's the bit? There it is. <clears throat> so this will go on the one side with your uh, with your lead, and then this side's just bolt together for your other side of your crystal. There it is. Um, so here it is all assembled together. As you can see, these are one and a half inch tubing, uh, brass tubing from TCSS. It didn't quite fit. Um, your crystals come in all sizes and lengths, and you just kind of have to play around and see what will work out. This actually was a hint long after I put a crystal in, so I had to put a few nuts on the end of the tubing, um, which made it a little bit longer. So now if I want tubing for my wires, they're gonna be too short. So what you have to do is that you could buy a three foot piece of tubing, uh, get a little tube cutter. I got this at Lowe's, these are easy. You can find these anywhere, it's just a mini tube cutter. Um, measure and cut, um, you know, so these will fit for your wires nice and snug. And then there you have it. So anyway, there it is. There's my one way of doing a crystal chamber. Um, and then when I'm all done, um, you know, and I have it all put together, um, I use this, it's a little 
just a little double A. It's three volts. It's okay to use these on the 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 blue and the green on my RGB. Um, don't use this on your bed. You'll burn it out. But anyway, I'll just kind of demonstrate what it looks like when it's all finished and done. Um, I'm using a, these are common cathodes RGB LEDs. Um, as you see, the longer pin here, that's your negative. Um, <clears throat> So there it is, um, lights up good. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, um, so the lead, I actually do have to super glue when it's all together, this inside there just to hold it nice and, and firm. I, I haven't found any other way to hold that in place. So I, I do use some super glue for that just to hold the lead in. Um, but there it is, there's one method of doing a crystal chamber. Um, I hope you like it. If you want to see more videos or you like my video, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.